good Sunday everyone I'm here well actually Monday for you Sunday for me we come back from camping a little bit early this week uh, we went up there Friday afternoon or Saturday oh my goodness I can't remember anyway uh, Saturday I have uh, Oh no, we went Friday right night. So anyway, uh, today is Sunday. So yesterday was Saturday. I did not do much crafting up there. I plan to do my video kitten up. You know that unboxing that we did with you almost everything <laughs> I took with me. So I left that stuff in my camper. And next week, hopefully, I will do the video that I promised. Now. I didn't have much time this week to record. I only stitched um, my sunflowers which I left in the campground. Uh, that canvas going to be just for the stitching at the campground. So I stitched maybe like two, no maybe three threads like three times to restart my needle, right? And that's it. Uh, and then the yesterday uh, our friends show up visit us at the campground sherry and her husband so i did not have time much to craft because in the morning whatever i was just like relaxing and enjoying the sun and after that you know cooking preparing for dinner and chit chatting with good friends so i created little short video just a few minutes what actually we did so I will insert for you so you can see a little bit and today we had to move from camper we left probably like 11 in the morning or something because my husband had a tent uh, a funeral for the a person he knew so we had to pay respect and we left very early from the campground so I'm just thinking right now, like I don't have nothing for the Monday video and I thought I will kind of put together mixes of a whole bunch of things that's kind of uh, cruising my mind. Catherine, say hello to everybody. Hi. She camping in style this year. Look at this, oh, look at this two going. So this is awesome thing from Costco. Is it comfy? Very. I can't even see you. It's like so dark. Let me zoom on your face. Buddy and Daisy having fun, chasing each other. We brought our jet ski. Oh, Papa Bear, are you happy? Sure. Got your toy back. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. Our neighbors just sometimes show up, so Buddy and Daisy have a big yard to play around. Okay, mm -hmm. was first fire play a fire pit last night. Finally, no rain. Uh, we just installed. Well, my husband and Catherine installed the lights. This strip of the lights, and that we got from dollar store. This kind of lights. So the other lights we will plug it in later on because we're still gonna have a, other stuff is going on in here. So this is it for now. Buddy, are you hiding in the shade? Go drink some water. Daisy, buddy, go drink some water. Go on the deck. Go on the deck. Go drink some water. Come on, go. No, you don't wanna go. They don't wanna be locked up. Who come visit me? Oh, that one, the only <laughs> Sherry and her hobby. Yeah. And he helped to build for my husband this casino. Now we have a table, dinner, ready cover from the sun. Wonderful. My puppy's lurking around. So we will have some dinner. You are in a mystery of the smoke from the fire. I don't see fire, people. <laughs> Tons of smoke. Yeah, keep the bugs away. Yeah, it's a very hot with cold breeze day. Very, very, very. Oh, remember last time I told you this tree, tree I thought was dead. No, it's actually 
leaves coming out the most like latest it's pretty those bean stalks were this hanging thing the best of fire starter when they start to fall down a little bit stitched today Oh, hold on, hold on. Can, can you, can you open? Let's see what's up there. Can you open? Oh, it's oh, it's only chicken for now. No pork chops yet. You see in here canvas that is not in my starts or anything. Noel, it's the winter Christmas um, angel or Christmas bride, whatever some call angel. So my friend Bonnie Wog, she wanted me to do a little bit, uh, tested out the silver thread that's in here. And there is one more in here, I will show you how I organize one of the canvases. So let me tell you a little bit about this one. Uh, this uh, particular canvas I have from Fancel. It has uh, beads in here. And kind of like a silver gold metallic thread, kind of in a mix of uh, kind of gold, but more like a, a greenish or grayish side to me. I don't know. Uh, yes, uh, see with this one, we have four. Is a four? One, two, three, four. I believe four colors of beads in here, uh, and also have a beaded needle. There is, I saw somewhere, oh no, no, yeah, it's in here. And also this one threads, that is very, very pretty. There, they are gorgeous threads. But the thing is, I couldn't figure out how to stitch with them because there's no instruction for this particular threads, metallic threads. And Bonnie wants to start her because she has exactly the same design. So I have to pull out and help out my friend to see if we can together figure out because when I count the threads, uh, usually it's an even amount of threads. In here, it's much more of them. So I count here nine, unless one more stuck or something. No, I think I count twice. It was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and this one stuck two together and eight and nine. So what I did, I did not even pull out, like I did not cut or anything. I grabbed one of this thread and one side I separated by three, three and three. And the other side I tried to do the whole string of nine to see the thickness because those threads are really, really thin. So here is what I got at the end. Let me show you the stitches. Now this is the whole thing, nine of them. And I do not like it because it's too thick. It's too bulky. If I can show you sideways, it's, see how it's sticking out way too far. Uh, it's very hard to go through. And I use from my 11 count Ada needle, which is thicker. And this one is three threads and it's a little bit too thin for me. So what I'm thinking between to kind of make this uh, work, I might have to do like a half. So because it's a nine threads, I will do four and four because this one three and three like looks not bad, but a little bit thin. So one more, it does create a little bit more thickness. So I will do probably in four to try that. But in four I will try when I will work, um, do my tutorial on the angel, uh, summer angel that I work with my uh, gold threads that I changed some stuff. Uh, I will also test it out this one in the same video and to do uh, we will figure out what's the best one because in three for me too thin and all this string is too thick and probably it's not going to be even enough to finish. I don't know. It feels like it's a lot in here, right? Big amount in here. 
but also there is a back stitch with the same color in here as well I'm not sure if a lot or not but uh, yeah all this yellow colors that you see and all this uh, frame kind of it's all the same uh, threads the silver one or gold whatever that is DMC I'm not sure so I will do this another test bunny because I just tested out this now and either way I don't like it so I will make one more test and because it's a uh, nine threads in here and if we will do four and four it will be eight so one will be left over so the more you stitch you will have one left over all the time and and you will have another complete set of four to stitch your next uh, stitches or use for the back stitch right so i will see i will see how this will look like in four i think that's how i will stitch if I decide that in four it's not as good either, I might well add one thread of coordinating color like DMC, some different, um, something, you know, different color to mix with the silver. We can do that as well. Okay, so this is the little update on my test that nothing came out good enough in my opinion. Now I will show you how I organize my huge canvas that I talked about this last year. I brag about it, I wanted to start on it, and I did not choose till this point which one count I want to do. 11 or 14. Can you guess what kind of canvas that is? Drum roll please. Yay, some of you say. <laughs> I can hear you, yay. <laughs> because few of my ladies, you ask me if I started this canvas or not. And obviously I did not because I could not decide what I want to do. And I explained already in my video why I couldn't decide because um, to incorporate the other materials some of them would be better on 14 counts some of them would be perfect for, for 14 or you know 14 and 11 11 so what make me to choose this is 11 count Ada okay here's the picture gorgeous one I ask Catherine I say Catherine I have dilemma. I have a canvases that I cannot choose which one to work on or 14 count or 11 count. So first she did not understand what count means. She thought maybe like a color of the threads. So she said, well, show me the color. I will help you to choose your color. I said, no, baby, it's not the color. So I explained her the difference of the fabric. So I say, you know, um, I told her that I want to incorporate and beats and sequence and other good stuff, some gems. Uh, and I said, well, the 11 count, it will be like very huge picture, but 11, it's more compact, still big, but smaller than 11. So she say, oh, if you do the big one, I will put in my room. That my people sold me. It melt my heart. I say, really? You would love to have my picture in your bedroom? She say, yeah, I have a big wall I will put in my bedroom. So I say, that's it. I'm gonna do this for you. So 11 count it is because Catherine chose. Yay. <laughs> so for all of you who have 11 count data, prepare yourself. We are going to stitch. Not sure how much I will stitch together on camera. Uh, mostly more likely I will stitch this in my hands without probably frame not sure my old frame is all busy unless I figure out something homemade um, and then uh, this is maybe will be kind of like a canvas surprise to stitch stitch and show once in a blue moon or maybe put this in my whips uh, routine I don't know yet Maybe you will help me to choose what to do, if I should put this into my spinner or not. 
but I want to show you how I organize. First of all, this is the school school thing that kids go to school with to put their papers inside. And my son, he bought all this like a army thing, camouflage. Uh, I have like four or five of them. So some of them I say, you know, for my husband, take some for work, for paperwork. And this is the great way to organize your big canvases. Now, here is what I did. If we open in here, uh, right now, at this moment, I have in here my canvas. Okay. Uh, I put in here my actual picture and all the papers what's inside just in case I need to confirm to some symbol if happened to be canvas maybe um, could be damaged sometimes get the water splatter and you know your ink can be disappear so you always keep it till the end your pattern of their book and um, it's good to have plus this create me good uh, kind of like a window screen so I can see what's inside of here uh, I might well put some bigger canvases also, like different canvases in this envelope, uh, this folder, because it's really comfortable. So now I'm going to put my, oh, I will, no, I can put this away. Okay, anyway, I want to show you something after this, so hold on. So what I did here, I just finished now to braid my threads and look at this what i did okay there look at that my gorgeousness look at this my gorgeousness isn't that satisfying or what look at that so what i did i used my crop dial and i use uh, the one that like a uh, bigger sentence because this one is, you see that needle is coming out, it's a thicker. Next to it, it's a thinner, but you have to kind of uh, switch in here on the top to go to your smaller one in here, see coming out. So I use the bigger one and I punched the holes. Well, first what I did is, let me just open and pull out one. Uh, so the palette was from 1 to 15 and go on um, did not fit all the way because the 1 2 3 it's not enough because that's how short this palette only I could catch them on the two of these holes and the rings if I can zoom closer a little bit see I can only fit on two so I did kind of like on the checkerboard this is from 1 to 15, then from 16 to 20, so I kind of put one on this two. Okay, I have to, it doesn't work this way, okay. <laughs> there we are, this way. So my first one would go on this two, then the other one on this two, and this two, and this two. So I put them in a checkerboard so it doesn't have like a bulk thing at once. So here is my, was like a palette, okay? Here was one palette. So I measure, it's a eight centimeters. So I mark it up. I measure uh, four centimeters on each side. I put my ruler to mark it up with the pen and I cut the scissors on half. Okay, on half. And then I used, I used this, uh, it's like a ages old from Staples probably, the one that you can use it for the clear plastic, I guess. Uh, it might be not going to do nothing in here on a paper, but I decided to put those little um, sticky circles around the hole. It kind of look interesting better and you can see where hole exactly. And I put them here. I started from the back. Uh, there was one more palette, but it was like an extra thread. So those extra palette I throw away and extra threads put on the numbers where it's supposed to go. So it's like a, usually it was a green one colors. So 
here you go I put from bigger number to to the back and smaller will start for me so if I need certain amount uh, like certain number I can just look like this flip around okay maybe I need number 80 so then I open my palette you know in here Oh, obviously I don't need to open hold on that's the, that's the beauty about I don't need to open because okay so that's how I did my each policy one go on this side another one go on this side you can add you can glue if you want to longer strips or all travel catch but it will work perfectly fine just as it is and this canvas have a huge amount of colors few colors in here just a one thread of six you know uh, some more some less but uh, how they came it's like a knotted each each thread was not in here and then run down so I unknot in here put them straight hang down if I can get up of the chair Let's see I put them freely hang down and then I kind of measure same amount of colors um, here and there not exactly but so my braid kind of look even and I braid them all so now if I need to pull out some thread it's very easy I'm just hold my you know one of my braid I hold my braid and I just literally will pull one of the thread all the way here you squish so the thread's not gonna tangle up and it's very easy coming out one thread at a time and at the same time my threads will be nicely sit in here in this folder you know like this or even it doesn't matter how it's going to be neatly like this and just put away right and that's it so uh what i wanted to show you uh, i might will put this way my other um, that i have i really like that will be always kind of nicely put together and it's a one little kind of like a book you know and that's it uh and i like the idea that threads all organize okay now what i decided to start because it will be difficult to start on something big project like this and not to do because to to do some beads and sequence and then threads again it will tangle up with each other right so i decided to do a first because this one definitely going to be just the threads this brown road in here that go over the bridge so I thought I will start with this road. Let me show you where that is. Okay, that's the road going in here. So I can start from it. And this canvas is nice and soft, you see that? So it will be easy to work in my hands. So I will start with this brown colors because I'm not planning to change anything on the road. Uh, maybe some kind of highlighter I can put some beads but it, again this is 11 count I have to be wise because uh, mostly beads that I have it's 11 O instead of 6 O that would be good for this canvas uh, what we have in here 114 I, th I thought it was 115 no it says in here 114 colors that we have in here really? 115 hold on let me check the last palette in here oh no it's 114 okay all right so that's where i will start but i want to test it out my project if i will like it or not so the first thing that in here is this beautiful bushes on the ground blooming flowers so i'm thinking you know they are in here maybe i will try to create this little tiny square in here one two three four five six seven 
one two three four five six seven well let's say seven hundred and seven hundred little square that's a um, good size maybe to test it out in here with everything that I want and maybe sequins maybe beads and some threads so it's kind of like a little corner to test if I like it and then continue and do this road first that's my plan also I was thinking and I'm not certain what to do maybe the sky in here I will do in half stitches with the mix with some other stuff some other material that I don't know yet I would love to mostly where my sparkles will be it's the bushes of blooms of the flowers and maybe some trees because a beautiful some tree in here um, whatever is not gonna background it will be as a background with just the threads uh, maybe um, those uh, glowing uh, windows as a light I can add something special up there maybe some metallic maybe some beads to represent lights maybe some highlights on the water so that's the plan so I definitely will stitch this road and test it out this corner so I will not show you this corner till I finish and then you tell me if you think I'm crazy totally cuckoo or you actually like it because I want this to create super special now as Catherine says she wants to put this in her room when I stitch this hopefully in my lifetime <laughs> right hopefully I have enough energy in my hands and fingers to hold on to the threads and needles so that's the plan and I'm super excited now especially now you know I have this boost of energy because my little girl wants to so this 11 count particular I got it from biggest craft same as from biggest craft my canvas of the European town okay so this is going to be my project special project for Catherine so I will put just for in case into my old routine of my uh, spinner wheel and hopefully one day maybe it will pick me to spin and maybe we can do stitch together a little bit but that that's my plan for now so we're going to leave this video as it is this is how I organize my big canvas and I think it's very very comfortable so I'm just going to kind of like a spread it out my braids flap them on half there see and then it's all safe in here just when you close the zipper in here be careful so your threads not hanging out you don't zip them together so just a kind of push them a little bit down there see and it's just nice and comfortable and then you can put this even on a bookshelf if you want and you can um, this one I think is from Walmart he purchased this from Walmart before school but he never he basically barely even used one so it's like a brand new basically oh look how satisfying this side because it's see-through nice all right my friends I will see you tomorrow.